Hi, I'm Mrs. D Math. Welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before and if you're returning, we appreciate it. Today we're going to go over inequalities with a variable on both sides in eighth grade math. So when I have inequalities with variables on both sides, I'm going to have to write and solve the inequality very similar to an equation, but I want to pay attention to the words so that my inequality sign is the correct one. So just a reminder, your inequality symbols are going to be less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. So let's go ahead with this sentence here. We have 10 less than five times a number is greater than seven times the number minus six. So we wanna break this down so that we have our equation or inequality here to go ahead and solve. So first I know that 10 less than means that I have the number 10 and that is going to be subtracted from something. Then I have five times a number and I don't know what that number is. So I'm gonna go ahead and just represent that number with the letter A. And I know that five times this A is gonna be greater than. So if I look up here, my greater than symbol is this direction and it's greater than seven times the number, oh, it says the number, so it's gotta be the same number, which I put an A for, minus six. Okay, so we have all of our information here. The one thing we wanna be careful of is I wrote a multiplication sign with an X above the word times, just to know that that is what that means, but we don't wanna write it with the X because we also have the variable A and this could get pretty confusing. So let's go ahead and write out our problem. So we do know that 10 is less than, so I'm gonna be subtracting 10 from five times A. So that's just represented by five A. This is gonna be greater than seven times A minus six. So now that I've written out my inequality, it does look like when I'm solving an equation with a variable on both sides, the only difference is I have this inequality symbol. Now, if you remember from probably sixth and seventh grade, in order for this inequality symbol to be pointing in the direction you wanna graph it, we would like for our variables to be on the left side. So I'm gonna go ahead and always move my constants to the right and my variables to the left. So that means I'm gonna first get rid of this minus 10 and move it to the right side. In order to get rid of minus 10, or subtracting 10, I'm going to do the opposite and add 10, but I have to do that opposite or inverse operation on both sides. So I'm gonna add 10 to the other side. So now this negative 10 and a positive 10 make zero. I'm left with 5a is greater than 7a plus, because 10 is larger than six, and I'm gonna subtract those because they're opposite signs, so that's four. Now I want to move this 7a to the left side. So in order to do that, the opposite of 7a is negative 7a. So I do have to subtract that from both sides. So now this equals zero. On this side, I'm left with four. And I know that that is less than 5a minus 7a, which is now a negative 2a. So just a reminder here, because we haven't really done inequalities in a while, if you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to flip the inequality. So here in our next step, and I'm gonna go ahead and write this over here, negative two A is greater than four. I'm gonna be dividing both sides by a negative. That means that my inequality sign is going to flip. So this, I'm left with a, and four divided by negative two is a negative two. So therefore, a is less than negative two in order to make this a true statement. So since a is less than negative two, I'm gonna pick a number less than negative two in order to test out and make sure that this works. So I'm just gonna plug in to my original equation, a negative three, because I know that is less than negative two. Five times negative three is negative 15, and then I have a negative 10, and I know this is negative 21 minus six, 
So here I have a negative 25 on this side and a negative 27 on this side, and I know negative 25 is greater than negative 27, so this checks out. Now let's try one more example where we are going to have a word problem that's gonna help us figure out our equation. The temperature in Dallas is 74 degrees Fahrenheit and increasing two degrees per hour. In Houston, it is 68 degrees Fahrenheit and rising four degrees Fahrenheit per hour. How long does it take the temperature in Houston to exceed the Dallas temperature? So let's see if we can break this down a little bit. I know that 74 degrees is a constant temperature and it is increasing, which is adding two degrees per hour. So that's gonna be times a variable. I'm gonna put an H there for hour. In Houston, 68 degrees is our constant and it is also rising, which is increasing. So that's plus four degrees per hour. Again, we're gonna put the same variable. Now, they wanna know how long does it take for the temperature in Houston to exceed the Dallas temperature. So we wanna make sure that we write this in a way that we have the correct inequality. So I'm gonna start with my 2x or 2h to go with my letters plus 74 and that is for Dallas. And then in Houston, I have 68 degrees plus four degrees per hour, that's in Houston. I wanna know when Houston is going to exceed the Dallas temperature. So when is the Houston temperature gonna be greater than the Dallas temperature? All right, so let's go ahead and figure out here what we need to do first. And again, I wanna go ahead and move my variables to the left. So I'm gonna move my constants to the right. So I'm gonna start with my 74. I'm gonna subtract 74 from both sides. That's gonna go away. So I'm left with 2h is less than 4h. And here, the difference between 74 and 68. It's gonna be a negative six. Then I wanna move my 4h to the other side. So I'm gonna subtract 4h from both sides. This is gonna be going away. 2h minus 4h is a negative 2h, which is less than negative six. Again, just a reminder, we are going to be dividing by a negative. So I have to flip my inequality. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that over here. So negative two divided by negative two is still just one, so that's gonna be h. I'm gonna flip my inequality, and negative six divided by negative two is positive three. So that means the Houston temperature is going to exceed the Dallas temperature in more than three so again, if I wanna test this out, I can go ahead and take a number greater than three. I'm gonna put in a four. And two times four is eight, plus that 74. Four times four is 16, plus that 68. And I wanna make sure that the left side is less than. So eight plus 74 is gonna be 82. And then over here we have 16 and 68, which is gonna be 84. So this is indeed correct. And there is our answer. I'm Mrs. D Math. Thanks for joining me today for inequalities with a variable on both sides in eighth grade math. Feel free to watch this video again if this is a difficult concept for you. Have a great day, bye.